Alright, I'm going second again. I'm not going to look at the list, but let's look at the name. Ulysses Gara Inventor. Da es I can't read those little. Da es es estacao, estacao? I don't know. Uh, keeping or not. It gives us these two, which is good. I mean, technically we have three things we can play. We're not going to use this. We could probably discard it. That's not a bad first turn. Oh yeah, we can keep this. Just discard the key charge, I guess. Play one, two, and this. Let's see. Plays Logos. Archimedes off the top. We'll go like this. Discard the key charge. Um, yeah, just play it. Play it for the amber. Move on. See, there's a nice combo with uh, life web after a hysteria. Like you play hysteria with life web in your hand, then they refilled all these things that they'd had before on the board, and then you just life web for stealing. It's pretty kind of cool. Lash of broken dreams. Followed by Pain Reaction, a cool card. Let's see if we can get it to show up. Deal two, and then if it kills it, it pops the other things for two. So, uses that to kill the Dew Fairy and then kill the Hunting Witch. Which is totally fine. It is what it is. We can Gongoozle, discard, discard. Or we can play two Logos cards or play one. Now we'll just, we'll just do this. Gongoozle. Does nothing. We'll discard the Hand of Dis. We'll discard the Hysteria. Then we'll end. Hysteria in this deck is really cool. There's some really cool things that you can do. Hysteria back your uh, your untamed board and just play it all back again for the Amber and then Key Charge, which is pretty sweet. He's gonna play Seismo Entangler. I oh no, he's gonna discard it. I totally lost a game against Seismo Entangler once. It was interesting. I did not expect it to do as much as it did, but he got it out early. And then I just had a really creature-based deck that just totally flooded the board, and he just shut it down for the most part. Plays the ZYX Researcher and Archives. What is the archive? Something. Uh, it doesn't actually say. Titan Librarian doesn't actually work because it has to be not on a flank. Uh, I can play this Pit Demon and a Succubus. He would have to name Logos and trade the Titan into the Succubus to kill that. I can also just play three cards. I mean, it's good to play those with uh, library access, but it doesn't have to really happen anymore. Since library access obviously has the nerf. Hmm. Two cards or three cards? Two cards or three cards? Well, it's a race, so we might as well play two card or three cards. Play. Play out the Novu Archaeologist and then follow that up with the Research Smoko on the right. <laughs> and look at that hand. That's a hand right there. Control the weak to end the turn just to add a little bit of salt. Always end with Control the weak. If you have a deck with Control the Weaks in it, play everything else first and then end with Control the weak so that they get a little bit salty. Right when they like see everything go down, it's like, oh, I know how to respond to this. And then you just... Salt them a bit with that control of the week. Shadows. This deck is Dis, Shadows, Logos. That's like the house combination that everybody wants, right? Got to get that Dis, Shadows, Logos. I don't think I have a deck that is all of that. Oh, wait, no, maybe I do. Maybe it was literally the first deck that I played on camera on this channel. Lethal Distraction. Who's he going to play it on? Novu. Whenever they take damage, he takes extra damage, which means he doesn't have to trade this four for this four. He can actually just trade this. Oh, or he can play Nerve Blast. Even better. Look at that. Steals one from me, pops Nova Archaeologist for two, and then it'll take an additional two from Lethal Distraction. That is a solid combination. Nerve Blast into, uh, ah, Lethal Distraction. Plays Sack of Coins. That's cool. He deals, uh, what, one to the Smoko. And then it archives a hey, smoko. <laughs> That's funny. Yeah, we're definitely going to play dis this turn, and we're going to play this down. Do I want to take the archives? No, I don't want to take the archives. Play this. 
Let's see, he's got Dis as well, so let's put... No, Hand of Dis isn't even a legacy, is it? What are the ones that look for things on the edges? Um, there's not much, but we'll play this interiorly now. Play this one interior. We'll play this one, the Schuler. I'm going to steal one because he had four. And then we'll play the Control of the Week. What are we going to name? He just played three different uh, Shadows cards. He's played four different Logos cards. Let's let's have him name Dis. He probably has Dis in his hand, like a good bit. We can assume, but it doesn't provide him any fast answers to this board. So And he can only play two cards. So we would need something that kills... <sighs> yeah. Something that kills the uh, Dust Imp with a Dis... Or the Ember Imp, excuse me with uh, dis hand dis hand look we can almost forge on turn but none of these things give amber bummer but we got uh, restringuntus and a board of four dis creatures and we can steal with the action so that's just as good Let's see what he does he's got to choose dis we can assume that something's going to happen here he's played zero dis cards right oh one he played pain reaction and two excuse me lash and technically he can lash, so we can't forge even with the uh, Choda combo. Plays Library. That's one of his two cards he can play, unless he has something to remove this Ember Imp, and plays Yerk. And discards something, and then it's my turn. Discarded Cutthroat Research. And that's really all you can do besides using the Lash, which he does. So we're going to probably play Restring Guntus and say he cannot play, what, like Shadows? Then we have to make board trades, though, because we want to keep this up, don't we? Either naming Shadows, he's going to archive something, too, which is kind of cool. Hmm. He's used some of his little tricks, combat trick things, his fast cards, essentially. He's used some of those already. He's used three, so he's got nine left in the deck. Nine Shadows cards, that is. How many of those are conceivably very fast? Without looking at the deck list, we can assume there's like, what, six creatures at least? Right? Because it would be weird if there were less than six. So we can assume six creatures. Probably assume seven. Ah, eh, six. Um, of those in AOA, um, none of them are fast. So we can leave that up and we can name logos and then we can make trades with our board. Okay. No. Uh, let's make some trades. This one can go and kill the Yurk. Maybe we wanted to kill the logo stuff. No, I think I wanted to kill the Yurk. This one. Hmm. Either I can steal, well, I'm going to reap with this always, so that gives me the key. If we want to guarantee a key, we can name, we'll play Ristringuntus and say you can't name this. Hmm. This might as well fight there. Now, the question is do we want to fight this? I think we will, yeah. Then we'll play Restringuntus. We have the board. He just played Dis. He's got four cards in hand. Let's say he cannot name Dis. That seems right. Guarantees our key. Unless he plays uh, Shadows and Steals, I guess. So that's a possibility. Yeah, because I should have considered that more. Because there are... What? Yeah, he's going to name Shadows. Snap right away. Should have named Shadows instead. Because there are several that could uh, that could end this. Sucker Punch, like that's that's a pretty good one for him. Yep. So he's gonna kill Ristringuntus. I'd imagine he could also kill the uh, Ember Imp. If he kills the Ember Imp, he can play more than two cards. If he kills the uh, Ristringuntus, then he can play Dis. Kills the Ember. Oh, Pit Demon. Ah, oh. interesting. Let's see if he has. Wow, that's it. All right. Okay. We have a key. Um, we have, oh, he concedes. I didn't even get to the good stuff. All right. Well, there it is. He would like to continue playing. Well, okay, let's continue playing then. 
That's weird. Why would you press concede? Maybe he wants to just start back over. I don't know. But I'll just keep playing. No, I don't want the archive. What a weird thing. You just press the button. Hmm. Play this on this side and then reap four. It is a race after all. Doesn't draw us very many cards, but uh, we are up pretty big. Again, he cannot name Dis because of Restringentus. He's drawn to five because of Succubus. He can only play two cards because of Ember Imp, which is pretty good, but I mean, there's like a lot of Shadows things he could still do. He archived a Shadows card. He has two Shadows cards in hand, we can assume. Oh, he had the Sucker Punch. He's just getting that. Got it. Kills the Restringentus with Sucker Punch. See what else he does. That's it. Okay. Again, we can play like these four cards, but there's not a lot of point because he's not playing creatures. Maybe he just wants to play a bunch of disc cards now. Of which he's only played two, uh, four, excuse me, with the two artifacts that are down. So we can assume that's coming. It's probably just it's probably just right for me to reap, 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 reap. I mean, too much to protect. I guess I have to worry about too much to protect. Um, hmm. Miasma too much to protect. Maybe this is the right time to just play these three cards. Yeah, it seems right. I don't want the archive. Uh, play that on the left. I don't think it really matters. Discard this one. Uh, the question is, do you keep the Chota or play the Chota? If you play the Chota, you go to three, then you reap, reap, reap. Um, you can take this back into your hand. Now, you probably don't play the Chota. You probably wait for Hunting Witch. To pull the uh, Witch of the Eye with the Hunting Witch. Hey, there's another Witch of the Eye. See, that makes sense. See, because now if we reap here, if this survives, we reap here, we get the uh, Hunting Witch back out, we play it. We play this to go to five, we play this uh, to go to, or sorry, this to go to six, play this to go to seven. Maybe he blows the board up though, maybe that's why he wanted the disc open. Maybe he just plays like Unlocked Gateway, since it's AOA after all. Three fates, that's pretty good. That'll kill the five, the four, and the four. Yep. Schuler, Snufflegator, and Master of Two are all dead. Hysteria, put everything back in the hand. Hmm, okay. So he's at six now. We've got a phase shift. Wonder if that's gonna make any difference. Yerk. This card's another cutthroat research. Misery exploit. I'm assuming he's going to do this stuff too. Yep. Library of the Damned. So things are at nine now. Hmm. Interesting. This is what's left in our deck. Good stuff. Best way to get to it, though, is burn through these four cards. Technically, we can burn through five cards. So that's probably what we're going to do. And, we'll, yeah, we'll take the archive, play another thing. Play this down. Play this down. It's unfortunate that we cannot do this with a hunting witch in hand so that we could phase shift it out. And we can't do it with the um, library, or library access. Yeah. And we have to give up the phase shift, which you can use for key cheats, which is kind of a bummer. Choose a house. Your opponent cannot choose that house as their like, active house. And I can't do anything about it. Which is the problem. Not a ton of utility in either of these cards. 
now that he's got a board that can fight it and he removed mine. That's why I love Hysteria. Oh, man. I got the not very good cards. Flame Wreath is all right. Gives us an Amber. Succubus is just fine. If my board sticks, which it might, the Bat Drone, the drawing the card, and the Research Smoko might be pretty good with the Psychic Bug. Oh, he's taking Sucker Punch again. It does have a target, so he is going to be able to use it. Gain the Amber, kill something, archive it. Kills the Ember Imp right away. Seems pretty good. Merkins, oh, he's going to take something. What's he going to take? He's going to play the top card of my deck. Oh, he played the Library Access. Oh, my goodness. That was the very next card. <laughs> That's unfortunate. Because we were going to Library of Babel play this. <laughs> Uh, it wouldn't have chained into much, but it's still really good for him. He pulls the library access off the top of my deck with Merkins. Is he going to take advantage of it? Oh, looks like he is. He's playing Yancey Gain, drawing a card. Hmm. That's a high roll, man. Oh, that was it. Okay. All right, so now, what are our options? He can steal one, we can steal one, and gain one, and draw one, and archive and kill something. Yeah, we're gonna wanna kill this Tesmol. All right, so we're gonna name Logos then. Might as well start with drawing a card. I should always do that first. It's that, all right. Then we can play Psychic Bug, see what's in his hand. ZYX, Gub, Rocket Boots. Gub looks like that, by the way. Poke, Titan Librarian, and not finished with you. So nothing really super duper fast. Let's see, we want to remove the Tezmal. So we'll fight. Do we want to keep our board or do we want to archive one of these five cards? It draws us a little faster. If we hit the uh, Hunting Witch, then we are like super, super solid. Seeing as we're not drawing cards, it's probably best to do that. So we want to fight with this first. On the Tezmal, and then we'll trade here. We have a 20% chance to hit the Hunting Witch. That's good. That feels good. We're at 7. He can steal 1, or he can make our keys 9. So he can mess with it still. Looks like he's going to make him 9. But luckily... We can almost forge. At <laughs> Dang it, we can almost forge because we have the Choda. Actually, we can because we'll just play the Hunting Witch. Yeah. Chooses Dis. Hmm. <laughs> Lash, so I'm nine. I'm at seven. It's going to archive a card with Library of the Damned. We already know he has the um, Sucker Punch in his archives. So now he's got two. Two cards in there. He can use this Yurk. He could kill, like, the Psychic Bug. Hmm. He's gonna... Yep. Oh, he's gonna kill the Bat Drone. That's better. Yeah. Kills the Bat Drone. Taking two damage here to Yurk. Plays Gub. Gub does not, again, speed anything up for him or stop me from really doing stuff. Uh, he's gonna play Not Finished with you. Let's see what he shuffles. He could shuffle, what is it, any number of creatures, right? Just shuffle all the creatures? One, two, yeah. What does he do? Yeah, he shuffled every creature except Archimedes. That's weird. Why would you not shuffle that one? Okay, so in order to forge a key, we need to name Untamed and take the Archive. Yes. Then we'll play the Hunting Witch. And then we'll play the uh, Dust Pixie. Both of the Witch of the Eyes. So we're at 12 Amber. Then we'll play this one. We'll go to 13, drop to 12, forge a key, be at 3 Amber with two keys in this board. That's a pretty good board. I'd take that. Let's see. He can steal one and make my keys 9 this way and fight with some stuff. He can uh, Sucker Punch, archiving Sucker Punch and kill the Hunting Witch, and then he can steal one. Leaves up these two, though. That's dangerous. He's got to have some way to deal with this stuff. 
takes the archives after naming shadows. Let's see. I'm going to move some of these overlays over so it's a little easier to see. Plays Sucker Punch, obviously. Sucker Punch is Witch of the Eye. Okay. You could do like Throwing Stars or whatever. The one that deals like three damage. Whistling Darts. One damage to everything. That one works just as well. Yangtze Gang, another one. Okay. Hmm. He's got to remove, like, this Witch of the Eye. So the Merc ends into that makes sense. Then he could steal, or he could kill the Hunting Witch. Killing the Hunting Witch is generally better. Merc has got to fight the Witch of the Eye. Yep, that's what he does. Hmm. Let's see what he does. To steal or not to steal? I think you kill the Hunting Witch here. Nope, he's going to steal. Okay, let's see. So our hand is like all utility cards, so it may work for him not to uh, kill that. He's at four with one key. I'm at two with two keys. I could technically blow the board up and play these things afterwards. He did not archive the Sucker Punch. That's important to note. I could reap, reap, and play Nocturnal Maneuver. And exhaust, exhaust, exhaust. Or exhaust, exhaust, exhaust here. These three. That would put me at 3, 4, 5. One off. I could technically play Fogify, and he can't kill that stuff. Reap. Draw a card. Yeah, we'll do that. Uh, we won't reap first. We'll draw a card first. Use. Hey, it's a key charge. Okay, so we just want to put ourselves into a general position. And fogify. So he can't fight. So hopefully that means we can get some stuff to stick here. All we would need is to name uh, untamed reap, reap, play this, and play that. So if he can remove either of my untamed creatures, then the game continues. What else could he do? He could have he could have uh, named un, uh, not untamed. He could have named uh, this and used this. He's playing Titan Librarian X Z Y X Researcher Archives. At this point, he's seen my whole deck. Plays poke. Oh, that yeah, that'll work. Oh, he killed the wrong thing. He killed the psychic bug. Man, you gotta kill the hunting witch. Plays another ZYX researcher. So he archives the top card of his deck. And he archives something from the hand. I think. It's hard to tell. Let's see, we can count. He had six in hands. This would be five, four, archiving the top. Plays poke, goes to three. Archives poke. Oh, it's the top card of your discard. Okay, got you. Hmm. Plays rocket boots on Yangtze Gang. Unfortunately, that's just going to be it, I think. I don't think he has any other Logos cards that can stop these two from reaping and me playing the, uh, the good old key charge for the win. Hmm. Key charge for the win. It's strange. These games have not played out like this deck normally plays. Untamed, reap, reap, go to seven, pow, 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 done, key charge, yes, and game. End turn. <laughs> oh, oh, that's right, because we continued from a concession, we can technically play forever. <laughs> I'll give him the GG. <laughs> I don't know if, uh, I don't know if he noticed that, that that's the game. Just because... After you concede, you can play to like an infinite amount of keys, which is kind of weird, but that's how it goes.